and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on for our first deck here on this St. Patrick's Sunday uh, standard donation deck extravaganza. Yeah, that, that sounds like that should be a hashtag. Um, we have four decks here that are all going to be uh, new decks for me to play again. We've been having a lot of donation decks recently, which has been really awesome. Uh, so thanks everybody for the support there. A lot of people have been getting their orders in with Quip, Movement, Harry, stuff like that, and getting some donation decks there uh, as well. Um, so all four of these are, are kind of newer, so it'll be a fun day. So we have Mardu Theater is our first deck up here. So this is a control deck where we are trying to leverage Theater of Horrors, uh, the card advantage that Theater of Horrors provides uh, in order to bury our opponent with this after we kill all of their things with our various removal spells. Um, in here, we also have like some electrostatic fields that you know we can cast any instant or sorcery and deal the damage to the opponent to be able to trigger the Theater of Horrors. So that's pretty interesting. We'll see how that plays out, if that's worth it. Usually, I, I don't really like these kind of creatures in like my Wrath deck, but this can do a, a good amount of blocking and everything too for us. It could help, help us survive, find Kaya's Wraths kind of thing. Um, and also like make our opponent just kind of overextend on the battlefield because if they just have like a 3-2, we have this 0-4, they're going to have to play more creatures to try to get around and that kind of stuff. Uh, we, have, we do have a lot of Kaya's. Kaya's kind of hit or miss depending on the matchup. Uh, but, so we'll see how Kaya's uh do here as well and we have instead of playing cast down we got bedeck bedazzle uh which is a card that i've been wanting to play i've been thinking about like a grixis land destruction deck for like this bedazzle part um but yeah if our opponent flips an ascanta uh and, and they find the sunken ruin then uh we get to make sure that their searching was for not so sideboard wise uh the sideboard I did just put together here, the, the person that donated for the deck only had like the 60 they wanted to, to see play here. So I uh, got some interesting interest, interesting things. I think Sky Tether is just an underplayed card in control decks. I think, you know, like when you're playing a control deck and you don't, you're not caring about attacking, especially attacking on the ground, like maybe you have like a flying attacker, then Sky Tether is just one mana, get rid of their creature, basically. Sure, their creature can still have abilities and stuff like that. Like, you know, it's not good against a land or elf, for example. But any, you know, any kind of big creature or anything uh, gets rid of. I think this is a really good card against, like, Mono Blue. Um, mono Red. You know, get rid of those creatures. Uh, is it Drakes? All that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, it's not good against Benelish Marshall for Mono White. But Adonto Vanguard? Done. So, there we go. Then uh, have some other removal spells. We got some Seraphs and Lyras for uh, whenever. Like those are good against aggro, and Seraphs are even good against control kind of thing. Angrass just like our best card against control. I, I want more of those. Star of Extinction for Sultai if we need a reset, um, and some Bane Fires for control to wind it out. So first deck on the day, Mardu Theater. Let's see how we do. Yeah, this is a this is a green tie. It looks a little more. I don't know. It is kind of teal, but it looks a little more teal even on the on the camera. But yeah, I went through and looked for a green tie. I think I may have. I have like two spots where my ties are right now, and I looked for the most green tie in one of the two spots. I may have a more green tie in in my second spot over there. I should probably go check. Yeah, Weston, it's a it, good question. Question is, I rarely, see, you know, like this, uh, saying that I'm kind of a newer player, so I'm not exactly sure, but I rarely see theater uh, being played. But just reading the card text, it seems kind of similar to as Kanta's card filtering. So why isn't it seeing as much play? And I do think it is, I do think it is a metagame thing where, um, because Mortify is such a highly played card that um, it's tough for Theater, because Theater needs to stay around for a very long time. As Kanta, you can have Flip, and then a Mortify drawn later you know, doesn't destroy it and everything, uh, but you need Theater to stay out on the battlefield all the time. And so it's, it's best in a long game. 
the other decks that play long games are mostly control, and the m biggest control deck is the one our opponent's playing here with Esper. I think it's either Negator Chemister's Insight. My hand's like not very good anyway. I don't really care about the Thought Erasures. I think I'm gonna go Negate. Uh, for like you know they can counter our top deck spells. Uh, thanks, Dutch. <laughs> All right. Our hand is pretty awful. Yeah, this is a. This ties a lot more green. Our hand is pretty awful against. Mardu control, or sorry, against Esper control with these Kaiserats. They're just dead cards. So we're basically on a mold of five with the two dead cards. Then our other cards get taken. We're going to have so many dead cards in this matchup. Shock is pretty dead. We uh, could really use, yeah, I'm passing turn. Could really use to draw an Angrath. You know, like Angrath's like the card that, you know, we only got two of them in the main. Hope we can draw one of these two. Doing this during their upkeep in case they have a counter spell. Have to spend their mana on their turn. That's pretty sweet. Alright, come on, Angrath. We can steal this. Yeah, I'm auto passing. What do you think auto passing means? Yeah, they have really stumbled on land hard. Angrath. Okay. Theater's a card. Theater's a card as well. We'll take that. Hit them. So I want this theater to do as much damage as possible before it gets like mortified or anything like that. Alright, so now we got a little bit more of a green tie. The other tie was green ish, but this one's more green. a good fight. Notice I didn't say fair. Um, yeah, I could be waiting till their end step Honey, to ping. That's what I do. Absolutely. Uh, as far as like, you know, we need to, we can only play things on our turn uh, for that, but, but besides that, I could save like the second ping on their, for their turn. I'm just kind of getting the things out of the way. You know, multitasking and everything, and just easier to ping on my turn in F6. But we do need to do the first ping on our turn. To get whatever this card is.
All right, you know, trying to get the chemist's insight from them. Really good at banishing things. So they have four cards in exile right now for Kaya's ultimate. Not a ton. Right on schedule. Keep up the pace. Let's do this while they're tapped you out. Just let me know if you're up for round two. Hmm. Keep it in land drops. See if Ser Seraph resolves or not. Alright, with that getting countered, then we know that this this Kaya will resolve. So I'm gonna go ahead and ultimate this one. Sometimes things come back to haunt you. And play a new one. I heard you had some dead things that needed to stay. I hope you said your goodbyes already. And between the shock, the theater, the Kaya, hopefully we can get there. I'm gone for now, but not forever. Maybe not, though. They have started to hit their land drops, unfortunately. Um... And now that Kaya play is not looking as good for us. Wow, there's only 24 lands in this deck? I would have guessed like 26. But halfway through lands, 25 cards in is, you know, it's about right. Not finding one of our Angrats is certainly not what we wanted. I'm known for my excellent timing. Hold that thought. All right, so I can go after Teferi. I can go ping, ping, next turn, shock, ping. Or I can keep going after them. Um. I think I want to go after them. I don't know. Maybe I should just go out. Maybe I should have gone after Teferi. That's what I'm considering. We could, we'd have to shock plus ping Teferi so it couldn't tuck. Stop that now. We will meet again. 
Not so fast. Could certainly see that 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 just going after Teferi to begin with would have been a better plan. I will fight. The choices we make reveal who we are. Just too many dead cards over here. I have let my friends down. I really don't know why my opponent cast that Kaiser out there. Question is, how would you rate Teamer Reclamation? I don't really know exactly what you mean. It is... It is one of the best decks in the format. I guess I don't know like a, a rating. Um, but it is one of the best decks in the format. I, yeah, I personally don't like the deck at all because I, I don't like Reclamation. I don't think that card should have been printed or adds anything positive to the game of magic. Is our opponent just not playing Mortify? I haven't seen any Mortifies. Yeah, it makes sense, Joyv. That that's what I was mentioning before whenever I uh talked about how that could be an issue. Wow. That's good. Oh, they finally found a Mortify. That's not good. No, we don't have Banefire main board. I know my responsibility. Can we do five more points of damage somewhere? You know what? I'm not done yet. It's pretty amazing how close we are in this game for how little number of cards we've drawn that do anything. Hey, Zoe. Can we realistically win this game if they don't have a counter spell? And we draw Angrath? I don't know. Don't I have like lightning strikes in, in this deck? Or no, I just have lava coil. We have two other shocks. We have the four electrostatic fields. We could play field. And then, like, you know, Kaya's Wrath and in response shock. We could get some points of damage in with Kaya's, with electrostatic field. I 
Alright. But no, I can't really realistically win. Okay, Duress comes on in. Banefire, other Seraphs, other Angraths. Gotta get rid of these Wraths, Coils. Um, a Shock. And this is just playing Bedazzle. Bedazzle's kind of cool. And maybe they have... Maybe they have Thief of Sanity that we can bedeck. Alright, let's try this. Um, I haven't played a Haphazard Bombardment deck in a long time. I haven't played it since Ravnica Allegiance was released, but... You know, played it before that and had a lot of fun with that that kind of deck. Yeah, maybe Lyra would be better than Shock, I suppose. Lyra is very easy to answer, but I guess if it does go unanswered, it can do some work. Okay, new game. We'll see if they have Thought Erasure here. Hopefully not. Hopefully we get to play our theater. Nope, there goes theater. They had the discard. I'll take their Thought Erasure so they don't get to take my Seraph of the Scales so they can play next turn. And then even if they Mortify Seraph, we still get, you know, a couple 1-1s. One it's a good trade for us. And in particular, I want them to have less answers for Angrath. I think that's still better than playing Kaya, is playing Seraph here. Level to draw land for Angrath next turn. I will defend how convenient. An excellent choice. Nope. So I guess we just get rid of Karn. There is always another fight. And hit for two. Hey blind. I have not seen that deck at all. So, yeah, I, I don't know anything about that deck. Yeah, I do the the Construct Attorneys. That's what we're doing here currently. Alright, so now we have to be a little worried about a counter spell, you know, about Negate. I do not want Angrath countered. So let's throw Kaya out there. Okay, Kaya resolves. I can get rid of anything, living or dead. Bye -bye. There are greater battles to fight. Kaya will just help keep this as Kanta from flipping. So I'm I'm not gonna ultimate right away at five this time. Hmm. 
Grab your bags and hit the road. So they kept their card last time. So presumably they have a counter spell here. Or, you know, if they're not having other interaction right now. And they have some card that they liked. Could have been Chemistry's Insight. <laughs> Easily in the top 10 control decks in the format. Give or take 10. Nice. So they have five cards right now. I hope you said your goodbyes already. Keep keeping cards. It doesn't like get a whole lot better for me with this Angrath. Um, you know, we can find one of our other three duresses to be able to help protect Angrath. Can you play Wilderness Reclamation best of one if it's in versus mode? I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. You better watch your back from here on out. So that auto tap taking out both of their blue sources, that's gotta say they don't have negate, right? It only seems like they don't have negate. No fire, no steel. Oh yeah, I guess I guess that's what I guess DJ probably was talking about Nexus. I guess some, yeah, playing Nexus best of one, I guess. No fire, no steel. They just have two absorbs? Hopefully not. Wow. Two absorbs. That's bad for me. That's real bad. Now it's Kanta flips. Kaya was going to be able to eat those insights. No fire, hey, QQ. no steel. That is true. Um, Kaya's, Kaya getting rid of like their cards from their graveyard to try to move the stuff to exile for ultimate, and then Angrath needing cards in their graveyard to ultimate. Those two are a little awkward together. Yeah, hopefully opponent doesn't have an answer to Angrath here. Dang, they did, because the ultimate would have dealt lethal there that turn. <laughs> yep, so much for that. Go, Angrath, go. Here be monsters. No fire, no steel. We're going to have to discard a card to Eldest Reborn. No reason not to play my land. Hey, I 
all of these. Thank you so much for that. What's up there? Really do appreciate that. Trust me, you'll thank me later. I'm not ready for this. Alright, so now they have Ascanta, Teferi, Eldest Reborn. They have Absorb Backup. We cannot win. It's gonna be a pretty tough matchup for us. They have all the card advantage that blue provides. Especially them being Chemister's Insight deck like that. We did not get there. Hey, King Toll. That's kind of the problem with um, Theater of Horrors, as we saw there with those games, especially that game two. You know, we had to, you know, play a Theater of Horrors, they just immediately mortify it. Mortify being the popular removal spell in, in Esper. Just really shuts our deck down. And yeah, Teferi's pretty good. <laughs> Teferi and Escanta. Those cards are very good. Thanks, yeah, got the got the green tie on for St. Patrick's Day today. Oh, sorry, I put it at the wrong spot. Yeah, oh one. Thank you. Okay, we can try this. Okay, yeah, yeah, this was a best of one list that we made the sideboard for for best of three. How the comment of in the chat there that this deck could be better for best of one. All right, so we're facing Blood Crypt. Does this mean Grixis? Grixis does not have nearly as good of answers for Theater of Horrors, which could be good for us. Yeah, I guess we're going with the Golgari Guild for our outfit today. And already our opponent can't figure out what to do against Sacred Foundry. Okay, there we go. Whoa. Champion of the Flame. All right, so 1-1 one, one gets plus 2, plus 2 for each aura attached to it. That can get pretty big pretty quickly. I feel like we just, just throw some lava at it, see what happens. All right, Valduke, what do you do? Make a 3-1. Yeah, so they have auras. This is the problem with auras. Instant speed removal. You just get two for one. That's the problem with auras. And, of course, if you don't have a creature on the battlefield anyway, it doesn't do anything. Auras don't. <laughs> no fun allowed. Fire, no steel. That card's good. Shiver my heart. No fire, no steel. Go, Seraph, go. Oh, I, I do have compassion, Zoe. I understand the one bracket is sometimes like this. Yeah, the opponent's trying some trying something different, you know. Got a cool idea and everything. 
Unfortunately, we're playing, you know, good removal and mythics. So that's a little rough. Um, going to take out field. Bring in Sky Tether. Bring in Lyra. Bring in this Kai's Wrath, Seraph. Take out Duress. And I guess Kaya the Usuper. Don't need as much. There's more Angrath's in. Angrath cool. All right, looks good. We'll keep. Had a couple good hands here. Yeah, I know, right? Poor guy, poor opponent. Not a, not a good matchup for them. I just went ahead and did that because I wanted to play the theater fours on turn three. I didn't want them to like equip their creature with like a, a bunch of stuff. Um, Seraph is like maybe my best card to play here, but considering we have a Kaya's Wrath, we don't really need to play that. Uh, I should have just activated the theater and dealt one to them. So I'd like to clear away both of these with a Kai's Wrath. I don't know if it really matters that we get that kind of value, though. Get that thing out of here. Why do they have instant speed auras? Okay. Cobray Waltz is pretty cool. Alright, so they can equip this thing, make a new thing. Attack me for three. No fire. 
No steel. That's real card. We keep getting these shock lands. I've weathered tougher storms than you. So this is just... Okay, that, that creature doesn't have to attack. It just gets a 3-1 haste. It doesn't necessarily have to attack. Alright, what do we have under here that I want to play? Sky Tether. All right. Um. <laughs> yeah, I got a Sky Tether that Val Duke. I'll get the champion. Gotta grow that champion. All right, and our angels took over. Okay, one and one. One and one. We'll see what we play against here. Okay, what are we doing here? Uh, yeah, like Dion, like yesterday we played a lot of decks that I made. These decks here today, all these decks with the DD part next to them, they're all donation decks. These are all viewer submitted decks. Yeah, we just have to mulligan. Yeah, I like duress a whole lot. Can't keep that previous hand though. I don't think I want field either. I want some kind of card advantage engine. That counts. That counts as a card advantage engine. All right, turn two. I don't think I'm worried about any spell they can play here on turn two, so I'll wait a little bit. Just go treasure map. Glass of the Guild Pact? Alright, well I guess that's a spell they could play on turn two that is probably what their deck's built around. Yep. Well, so much for that duress. Well then. We're gonna have to kill a lot of things. Might as well cast this thing. It uses our mana better. These Vindicators are just very, very powerful. Kinda need to kill them all. Doesn't look so good for us, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I remember yesterday saying that you learned about Mnemonic Betrayal yesterday. Kind of looks like a Path of Metal deck, right? No, don't use my black... Don't use... Don't use that land. There you go. Use these lands. We cannot defeat these things. I am glad we threw the field down to the bottom. The field doesn't do anything against any of these creatures. I need to take that glass of the guild pact. That would have made our life a lot easier.
You know, I was thinking, you know, just a red white land. Didn't necessarily want to pay the two life to shock, but we got really punished for that. And then we drew another duress. Both our duresses missed. Yeah, our opponent's deck is is pretty powerful. We don't have the removal for it. Um, he's going to just block next turn. We're going to need, like, Kaya's Wraths. At least one Kaya's Wrath. They really should be pumping up that Swift Blade Vindicator. This gives us a chance. Alright, come on, Kai's Wrath. Come on, Kai's Wrath. Oh, that gives a trample. Right. Oh, really, it gives trample. Because it's red. Never mind. Yeah, let's tether some things. Let's get these duresses the heck out of here. Cry is good. Wrath is good. Kaya didn't see anything that Kaya would take. Field isn't blocking anything. Unless they have like the smaller creatures like Tajik early or anything like that. Can I make it to seven mana for star? Possibly. Uh, you think they're going to have four Footlight Fiends? That would make sense. I don't think that's a reason to play Kaya, just because they have some Footlight Fiends. But, yeah, I would not, not be surprised to see that card. Um, Reborn is pretty slow, that's true. Yeah, I like Angrath more than Reborn. Alright, I think I'm doing this. I don't think I'm playing Star. I think four Kaya's Wrath, one Cry of the Carnarium is okay for sweepers. Uh, the fields, I guess, can, can just kind of stay out and do a little blocking for you. Help you trigger your Theater of Horrors. All right, we're going to six again. Hey, DJM. Uh, Shandrana, I am a full-time magic streamer. Stay at home streamer, I'm not traveling to tournaments anymore. I like Sky Tether quite a bit. It's very good against Swift Blade Vindicator. You don't really want it against Hero of Precinct 1, but we have other removal spell for that. You know, don't really want it against Aurelia either, but um, you know, Sky Tether can take out like that thing, for example. But so can shock. I'm gonna use the shock for now. Nice. You get two free mythics, including a crisis. That's awesome.
I'm not killing this Footlight Fiend. Saving this removal spell for Tajik or Aurelia. Here. That's why I put the stop on their main phase. Um, using Mortify, you know, not only we have two of those, but in case they have, I don't know, a Johnny? Oh, Planeswalker they really have. So more likely they have Experimental Frenzy or a Johnny. I guess this thing could blow up that, that artifact too, that Glass of the Guild Pact. Yeah, they could have Huatli Warrior Poet. Huatli's pretty nice. Alright, can we draw something? Theater. Theater and Grath. Um, you know, Lyra, Seraph. Anything like that. I would have preferred Angrath the previous turn. I'm gonna you know, I have to take this turn to sky coil that sky terror. If I play Angrath and tick up that turn. Field mostly cleared. Got a couple annoying one ones. They're just a couple annoying one ones. You're just fuel for the fires of Ooh. freedom. Yeah, get rid of that heroic reinforcements. Dang. That's a good draw. So much for just annoying one ones. <laughs> that tickled. No fire. No steel. If I cast Kai's Wrath of Two Foot Light and Fiend triggers, get to kill the Angrath. I was hoping they would draw another creature that we could get one more creature out of this Kai's Wrath. Fires out, but the embers burn on. They did not draw another creature. Lyra. That's not going to kill anything anymore. Even Shock plus Lava Coil is not killing this Aurelia. tough. Keeping shock in hand because in case our, our theater hits um, Kai's Wrath. Okay. See, Sky Tether, great. matter if that creature gets even bigger.
Alright, still alive. Still alive. Draw land. Draw land. Okay. Still alive. Let's get this Seraph under here because it just costs a lot more mana, you know? Keep the Seraph in our hand. Draw a land. Go, Seraph, go. I should have just bedevil a glass of the guild pact. If they have heroic reinforcements, heroic reinforcements would make white creatures or red and white creatures. They make just white creatures. I'm trying to think of like like red haste creature. Like if they have like a Tajik, like a red haste creature that. Like, the reason why to Bedevil here is because if they have a red haste creature that they get to pump up with Aurelia. And if they, you know, get that above 7. Because, like, Tajik right now would be lethal. And that, so if I would have Bedeviled the Glass of the Guild Pack, Tajik is not lethal. Tajik would deal exactly 6 and we'd have, like, the 6. So, not Bedeviling there means we die to Tajik. So, like, for, like, the, the question, why would I do that? They did not have Tajik, though. So it was probably the best play to Bedevil, that glass there. The other thing, though, is if they if they draw, like, Lyra um, or another Aurelia, you know, they draw something like that, then I, at those points, I would not want to, to have used the Bedevil. Man, that was close. Hey, Flips. Thanks for the kind words. Glad you, yeah, glad you're in here and everything. Okay, let's see. Field. Still not looking super strong. I'm kind of thinking playing a star. I don't know. If they have, like, the crappy 1-1s, one field can maybe block for a tad. I'll, I'll keep the field. Double Wrath, I'll keep. <laughs> so the big question is if we can wait till turn four, or if we have to start firing off coils before that. I think I feel better about my life by firing off a coil here. Or that thing's basically three power at the minimum. It gets to attack for two, plus put a counter on for the Light Fiend. Hey, what's up, Crimson Coven? Okay. I like seeing that other hero. Okay. Opponent is not just running in, head on into this wrath. Very good for me. Yeah, this is 30 seconds to Mars. Um, Dangerous Night is the name of the song. Which is kind of like what our opponents had right there. All their creatures. They were in a dangerous night. And Kaya... Took them all out. Hmm. I guess I'm going to take three here, go to 11. To get this theater in play. 
<laughs> Gatsby told me not to tell you, Crimson. He sent a big cheer at the beginning of... Beginning of yesterday. Yesterday's 12-hour stream. Alright, we got a clutch shock there. Get these lands. Hit some land drops. <laughs> I'm gonna Kaiser out the way, Justin Aurelia. Yeah, probably. Ooh, other way, put the exclamation point first. Let's me get this this plane. The ping only goes to players here with the Theater of Horrors ping. Only Planeswalkers and, and opponents. So I can't... Can't, uh... You know, coil their Aurelia and then ping the Aurelia. They should attack with that Sky Tether. It has Menace. All right. Our wondering if our opponent was wondering if they want they could win, but Atlas shrugged and said, "No, I cannot anymore. That is it for me." So, all right, two and one. <laughs> yeah, was our opponent's name was Atlas. Oh, now we have Murphy's Law. <laughs> hey, Eisenf. Happy Sunday. All right, this is the first time for us to like really try out electrostatic field. Okay, and I will fire off the turn one duress this time against Simic Guildgate. Take that growth spiral. So they have Gate Colossus, Gate Ram, Gate this, Gate that. Kind of bad for us. TBH. Our removal spells like Bedeck and Lava Coil have a big time struggle. They really struggle with their creatures. That is perfect. I really wanted them to shock and play this 4 4 ram because we can kill a 4 4 ram with Coil. Very nice. <laughs> Crimson Coven! Getting all those bits in. <laughs> Has to take that top spot back. Thank you so much, Crimson Coven. Kai has a really good draw here because if we kill this Gate Colossus, we get to exile the, the Gate Colossus. So that's really nice for us. Hit the road. <laughs> Thanks, Crimson. You are amazing. You are also amazing, Gatsby. Thank, thank y'all to both of y'all. That's why we had the 12-hour stream <clears throat> yesterday. All right, duress away some spell. Ugh, crisis. And then we mortify this thing. And then we can eat both of those. I was hoping to see the really guild summit. Get rid of.
Um, I guess I'm not going to hold on to this for Bedazzle. We'll just Bedeck. Slowly killing our opponent. They're down to 15. I hope you said your goodbyes already. Yes, Bedazzle can kill the gates. Yeah, we could like destroy their white source, for example. Down to 15. I think I just hit him for... Wait, do I minus 5 and then keep ticking up after that? Or do I just keep ticking up? So we can deal 7. I guess the only thing is like if we're scared of the Kaya dying kind of thing. Hmm. It's it's about like the next creature, this you know, like this archway angel will still have, like we, if we wrath away this archway angel, then it's like if we, do we draw removal for the next creature and does the next creature now kill Kaya kind of thing. Stop. Gaining life and drawing cards, opponent. Keep drawing removal. I'm really good at banishing. So this is the problem, is the next creature. I don't have my field out anymore. Oh right, they just gain a whole lot of life with Angel too. Was that dear to you? Yeah, the Krasis's were pretty nice for the opponent. So the other option was just like letting the... What? How do they not attack? What is going on here? Why can't we draw anything but lands? You're not welcome here anymore. Better watch your back from here on out. So it's kind of the problem with Kaya and like Kyle, Kaya and Field. All they did was just a little bit of damage, but nothing else. And when our opponent played an Archway Angel, that basically just got rid of everything that Kaya and uh, Field, particular Field, got rid of everything that they did. Our opponent has cards like Krasis that gets to draw a bunch of cards. The one thing we did do is exile a Colossus. That was the one good thing we did. But Kaya and Field really need like a specific um, matchups to be worthwhile. Alright, so let's get Seraph and Angrath, those cards. 
are going to be better for us. Yeah, we have the theaters for card advantage, but you know when we don't draw theaters, it's a problem. We don't have very much card advantage when we don't draw them. Yeah, we are playing too few blue cards for a control deck. It's it's tough. It's tough. All right, I kind of want the Star of Extinction. I do like Eldest. This thing, Kaya. Hmm. Maybe keep one. Kaya's awesome at exiling, like that that artifact creature and getting that gone. But it's kind of all a Kaya can do. Don't need shock. Let's get rid of shock. Maybe we play a couple Kayas. Then. All right, Lyra, Star, Banefire are all reasonable. Let's get one Star, one Banefire. These Bedecks just don't kill things. We'll get rid of those. Got to go a lot bigger with our removal. Hey, what's up, Eddie? Mm -mm. Let's try it out. No, I'm not doing anything special to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. I'm wearing this green tie, though. What deck would you recommend to grind the best of three constructed events? It's, it's, it's a little bit difficult question to answer because everybody has different play styles. Um, I think Sultai is very good, and I'd just recommend Sultai, but some people don't like um, the long games and everything that Sultai can play. Um, but, you know, like, just basically all the tier 1 decks are like tier 1 decks uh, for a reason. And so any of them are pretty good options. But, uh, Don, yeah, I agree. I, I, I'm pretty a big, I'm a pretty big fan of Sky Tether, and... I'm not. I'm honestly not sure why people don't play it in, in Esper. It seems like it's a good removal spell for just one mana. The opponent has no lands in hand. They just played a double growth spiral and didn't hit a land drop. So they have all gas over there. At least no guild summits. That's that's certainly good. We don't want to see a guild summit at all. I would love to draw a land and slam down the Sandgrath. I could have spent a white mana to give the Seraph vigilance here. I don't think they have haste creatures, so I don't think it really matters. I like a good fight. Two bags Notice and hit the road. Fair. Uh, what are the top tier decks? Um, uh, I think both the Wilderness Reclamation decks are right up there. Uh, it's Soul Tie. Hmm. Hmm. 
Top Toe says about Sky Tether and Esper, you give them targets for their Mortifies. Well, the... Who plays Mortify besides Esper Control? Like what, like Esper Midrange, maybe? You still have, like, Search for Escanta as a target. Like, none of the other, like... Most decks don't play Mortify. Like the, the deck that plays Mortify is Esper Control, and Sky Tether, you know... That's not a matchup for Sky Tether anyway. Uh, opponent did find Guild Summit. Very bad for us. Especially how it just used that Mortify there. Alright, Death Touch the Seraph. Get the trade in here. But all realistically, they probably have way too many cards for us. Angrath can't keep up with Guild Summit, unfortunately. Plus, we can't just hit our fifth land for the Angrath anyway. I hope you said your goodbyes already. Two more Colossuses in hand. I think the game's over. I can't let them have mass manipulation. Can't really beat binding. We can draw another Mortify. I'll be back. Just you wait. This is certainly a, a problematic matchup for a number of reasons, but a lot of our removal is red-based that can't just kill a bunch of 8-8s. So I can start with Eldest Reborn. Um, they have the Night of Autumn to blow up Eldritch Reborn, but I don't have a better option. I think us... I, know, I just hope they don't play Deafening Clarion in for lifelink. Maybe we can steal this with like an, an Angrath minus on the Gate Colossus to hit him for a bunch and then a Banefire. Like, maybe. If they ever Clarion lifelink... That plan's dead. Maybe I should have just taken the Clarion instead of the mass manipulation and just let them have mass manipulation. No, that's weird. It's just a really tough matchup for our like any of these kind of decks. Gates goes uh, very far over the top. It's just what it does. If I play, if I play Angrath minus here, they have lethal coming back. Remember, these one ones can't block the eight eights. Them drawing all the eight eights was unfortunate for us. Um. So I think I just have to just double coil. And... This would have been a matchup for Sky Tethers. You know, if we were drawing Sky Tethers, we could just put the, the Tethers on the Gate Colossus. 
They, of course, had the Knight of Autumn that could blow up a tether. Um, but still, tether would look a lot better than Lava Coil there. If we start next turn, we basically take out Knight of Autumn and put the Gate Colossus back in their hand. They play a bunch of rams here, so we can kill a bunch of things with Star of Extinction, maybe. Something good could happen. Like, three away from killing them. Never mind. It's not really beatable. To be honest, I don't think we're ever going to win that matchup. Just looking at like all the cards they have. Just not one we can compete in. Um, and what I mean by that is like, even if we try to make Mardu con like our Mardu control deck specifically for gates, I don't think we're winning. <laughs> you know, if we could just like rebuild our... We could just play our perfect 60 for Mardu against gates... Uh, for like, if it, if your if your condition is Mardu control and try to just beat like what our opponents had those two games, I, I don't think we're winning. <laughs> if we just change our deck completely for that matchup, that's tough. That's a tough one. Um, yeah. So our deck, um, my least favorite card by a mile was electrostatic field just doesn't seem like a relevant card where if it's just more removal I think it's probably more relevant um, I do like I, I do like the idea of theater of horrors base control I do honestly like that idea um, and I think I think there can be a, a Mardu control deck with you know based around theater I think Field and Kai are not, not a way to go. I think you need a lot more... We need a lot more card advantage kind of thing, like where we, we just don't have enough card advantage um, for a control deck. I think that, you know, playing, like, Treasure Map, Karn could be a little better and just, like, bigger effects, like, you know, just all the Kai's Wraths. Um, and then, like, Treasure Map, Karn to go along with Theaters. Uh, and maybe some more of like like mortify is just awesome in this meta game but devil is pretty good i think contempt Vras's contempt would be really nice to have um you know you could like exile the eight eights and stuff like that but just it's just good against a lot of things so i think just kind of more more bigger effects like that more well-rounded effects and like less little effects like shock bedevil or shock bedeck things like that so you know, like playing for mortify playing like th you know, you don't me maybe need Seraph if you're playing Karn here too, but playing like Karn and like three or four uh, Contempts as well, and then you wouldn't really need Eldritch Reborn. Get like another Angrath, because like Eldritch Reborn, we even saw like that game. It's just, it's not reliable. I want things that are reliable like Contempt, Bedevil, Mortify, Hard Removal. Um, and then yeah, Treasure Map, Karn, and kind of go from there. So, but yeah, so si Simon made the deck. Uh, this is a best of one deck, you know, that we, we tried putting a, a sideboard together here and, and playing best of three. Uh, but this, this deck was built for best of one. And Simon says here that uh, in best of one, like the games and everything plays completely different, um, like what, how the field is. is. And honestly, that's, that's why I have said this uh, a few times that best of one is basically a different format than best of three um, because of how the the two hands are generated and you get like the better of two hands and then like curving out is a is a is a much more um, it's more reliable and more necessary both of those um, but yeah so Simon says I'm just going to kind of stick with best of one with this one so yeah it's fun deck to watch you know definitely learned things you know and 
and learning's really good and everything like that. Um, but, and so if you are looking for a best of one for Marty Theater, I think this, you know, I would recommend trying this out because Simon plays this deck quite a bit in best of one, had some good success there with it. So, you know, I think you can port this 60 over uh, for that metagame. I think best of three, we have to go more reliable, bigger, and stuff like that. So there we go. That's Marty Theater. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.